had the shiniest of hair. And he walked into the room with an authoritative air, his carefully shaped eyebrows so severe. You could barely even tell where the prosthetics met his ears. I fell in love with a Spock impersonator, from his ears down to his phaser and his sweet communicator. I thought my search for love was at an end. But being highly logical did not make him a very good boyfriend. Next day, when I first saw his furrowed brow, I knew the ideal man had come and found me somehow. I mean, what else could I think? When he looked me in the eye and told me, prune juice is a warrior's drink. I fell in love with a wharf impersonator From his forehead to his baldric and his badge communicator I thought my search for love was at an end But being strong and angry did not make him a very good boyfriend Oh, why did I come to this con? <laughs> Oh, why did I come to this con? This day has been nothing but a roller coaster of emotion. I don't have the time or money to wait in line to see Leonard Nimoy. But look over there, what an interesting boy. I fell in love with a Q impersonator, which seemed like a bad search for love was at an end. But he transported me to another dimension and played psychological games on me and my friends.